Dr. Z, and I want to talk to you about our expectations here in the hallways and how you can be respectful and reliable and compassionate at all times while you're making your way through the hallways. Right now, this hallway is empty, but between classes, there can be as many as 200 kids jamming through here in a short amount of time. Uh, and it can get pretty loud, and it can sometimes get dangerous. So let's make sure that we stay respectful by maintaining an appropriate voice level at all times when you're outside working classrooms and keeping a positive attitude. Make sure that you're being, that you're not being uh, rude or insulting or bumping into people. You also want to be reliable by keeping the aisles clear, by making sure that you're walking on the right side, just like your parents drive on the right side of the road so everybody can get to where they're going. And if you've stopped and you're lined up against the wall, make it a straight line so that you're not clogging up the hallways with groups of two or three. All right, you also want to be compassionate in the hallways because not everybody is on break. Some classes may still be working, so you want to make sure you're not disturbing what's going on on the other side of that wall. You also want to notice if somebody is lost or upset or if they drop things, if they need some kind of help. Whether it's a kid or a grown-up who's new to the school, see if you can help out and show people around, pitch in if people need help. We want to be respectful because people are working. We want to be reliable to keep things safe. We want to be compassionate because everybody deserves kindness. That's what we're about here at Gallego. So, friends, in the hallways between classes, try and keep your voices down at a reasonable level. With two or three hundred people all yelling at each other, you can raise the roof off this building. We don't want that to happen. Okay, you also want to make sure you're being reliable by always walking on the right side, uh, by patiently and quietly waiting outside your class, uh, by not clogging up the hallways, because if you've got five or six people in a hug cluster over here, five or six people in a chat cluster over here, five or six people in a line waiting to get into this classroom, you can clog up the whole hallway and nobody can get past. Or people get angry and start throwing elbows, trying to push their way through. I have seen smaller kids start to get crushed. I have seen people fall down. And it's important to maintain hallway safety, my friends. Uh, that's why we always walk and never run. There's a couple of things going on there. One thing is, if you hit a wet spot where somebody spilled some water, you can go down in nothing flat and crack the back of your skull. I've seen it happen many times. And you also, if you're running through the hallways, whether it's crowded or not, uh, people aren't expecting that. Somebody could walk out in front of you and then both of you are injured. Try to maintain some hallway safety, my friends. Uh, it's really important that uh, everybody gets to where they're going safely. It's really important that everybody can do their learning. So, do your best out in the hallways. I'll be looking for you. If you see me, say hi, Mr. Z. And if you're doing a great job, I'll say thank you for contributing to hallway safety. Thanks, kids. Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Wagner. How's everybody doing? Here we are in one of my favorite rooms in the entire school, the boys' bathroom. I spend a lot of time in here thinking deep thoughts. You know what, boys and girls? In these bathrooms, we have to remember those three words. Respectful, reliable, and compassionate. I know you've heard it a million times, but I'm going to go over it real quick again for you, okay? So pay attention. Respect? To me, respect means don't mess with anything. Don't mess with me. Why are you disrespecting me? You're messing with me. Do you know what? I, could, I can disrespect a, a wall, too. I could mess with the bathroom. Uh, graffiti would be an example of somebody disrespecting the bathrooms or you know, are breaking some of the materials, some of the sinks, or, or just messing with the stuff in here. So we're going to 
we're going to be respectful. Um, we're going to respect the facilities. But you know what? We're also going to respect other people. We're not going to mess with people in the bathroom. The bathroom is a public space where we are doing a very private thing. So that's, you know, you're over here using the restroom, somebody comes in, you don't want to be messed with. So I'm asking you to be respectful of other people and respectful of the facilities. Respectful, oh, reliable. Reliable means you're going to do what you said you're going to do. Everybody here signed the parent, teacher, student compact that said that you would respect the rules of the school. You, we need to be able to rely on you that you will do what you said you're going to do. For me, one of my pet peeves is a student says, Mr. Can I go to the bathroom? And they don't go to the bathroom. They go look in the classroom. They go find their friend. They go up to the office. Hey, I need to be able to rely on you. We, all your teachers need to, need to know where you are and know that you're safe. So we need to be able to re rely on you. We need to be reliable. Finally, compassion. And compassion means human kindness. That's being, uh, being attentive, um, being kind to people. Uh, you know what? A lot of people come to the bathroom because they're upset. Or because uh, they, they're having a bad day. Or, or for all kinds of reasons. Maybe they don't have to use the bathroom. They just need some space. If you see someone in here that is obviously upset, please show kindness. Ask them if they need anything. Are you okay? You know what? If it's something really bad, you can tell a teacher or an administrator or, or an adult. Hey, there's someone in the bathroom crying. Maybe you want to check on them. So we're going to be respectful, reliable, and compassionate in these bathrooms. All right? Thanks a lot, you guys. Hope you have a great year.